Hello Raiders, this is Bladers EX back with another video. This video is not gonna be in 4K resolution because that requires a lot of space and my phone is almost out of storage area. So recently I just came across a comment on one of my earlier tournament battle videos that I've been doing and I guess I cannot see that comment anymore so maybe it was deleted or I don't know what happened but I read it and I found it really interesting and uh, I thought of making a video on it. So uh, it told me that uh, there's an upcoming Daybladed Burst tournament in Mumbai which is hosting, I'm sorry, which is being hosted by Snidmist. So yep, it's a very known name, so you all know him, maybe. And uh, it's not under any organization, not WBO, not IBA, nothing. It's just his own uh, individual tournament that he's doing. So this tournament is actually uh, limited to only Chosy layers and stuff, and he's not even allowing the Awakened Chosy. I guess I... That's what, if I remember correctly, that comment said that even the Awakened Chosy layers like Chosy Valkyrie, Chosy Achilles, Chosy Spriggan, they are also not allowed. So it's, I actually find this really interesting because that is like, that's some innovation right there. So, and recently also we had uh, an IBS Elite Grade Baby Burst Tournament in Delhi. So I was in a fresh mood for some Chosy combos. Now the comment had asked me for some good Chosy combos that they can use and they had uh, the person had mentioned that he doesn't have much Chosy base and he's going to use some God base as well. So he wanted me to suggest combos. Now I cannot really make a suggestive combos video because you can see myself also I'm not having many base. Like I have just 3 or 4 Chosy base and I have no GD and no sparking and therefore very less competitive parts. So I'm not really going to make a competitive list of combos that you should use or anything like that. All I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to tell you guys the combos that I have used in the past tournaments that I've attended and I have won using these combos. Most of these combos are going to be from my own parts that I own and some of them I even borrowed from some other people. So without any further ado, let's just begin with the first combo that I'm going to show you. So this is the combo that I used in yesterday's Elite Grade Tournament. This is Archer Hercules 7 Eternal. Man, I love this combo so much. I literally love Archer Hercules. I mean, um, this is a quite popular combo and uh, Chosy combo obviously. And back when Chosy was uh, trending and it was new, then in WBO it was really popular as well. Like Archer Hercules 7 Eternal, many people from WBO were using it. And so it became quite popular. But uh, then uh, because uh, this GD and sparking came up and the meta game increased, so it went extremely outclassed and nobody uses it and uses it anymore. So I've used this before at an event and well, and I just used it again. And this guy, Archer Hercules, it went against a Rage Longinus and it won. I mean, Yoginstinct was using a Rage Longinus Extreme Dash 3A, I guess. And it won two rounds against that. It didn't burst, it didn't get KO'd, and it outspun Rage Longinus in both the rounds, which was quite crazy. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> so I chose this combo because uh, because of the popularity, and I knew how good it was, and because I've used it before as well. Uh, I know that I was quite a natural at using this combo. So let me just go over the parts. Literally, I just love this combo so much. First of all, Archer Hercules. It's a pretty good Chosy layer. Um, and uh, because the event in which I performed like yesterday, it was uh, an elite grade by IBA. So in that, uh, GD and sparking layers was also allowed. But uh, the Mumbai one is going to be a Chosy one. So this might just break the deal. Really good for stamina, really good for defense, very hard to burst and KO as well. Archer Hercules, that's one classic. Then we have a seven disc. It's one of the best forged discs in my opinion when it comes to core discs. The one in which frames can be... Uh, like incorporated this one is really good for stamina really good for defense can be used in attack customizations as well i guess this is the one with the most stamina out of any numbered core discs so this is actually quite amazing so hot chair is with seven and then i went with eternal uh, i used eternal because of the lad now uh, they were supposed to be left spin base with bearing and i needed something to counter them and because i had eternal driver i actually ended up Tying three or four times in a row against a master, I guess yeah, Akshit was using master Diabolos, uh, Diabolos and uh, uh, Vanguard and Bearing, and it was tying against a Bearing combo, and it did really well. It even outspun some right spin sparking base and withstood the attacks of some GT and sparking base as well, left spin and right spin also it was able to hold up pretty well against. It overall did very well and. I, I, don't, I wasn't expecting this combo to do so good. I literally love Archer release, man. This is so good. 
This combo has given me a lot of success in the in, in any tournament in which I've used this combo, Archer Kiri 7 Eternal. Yesterday's tournament wasn't the only tournament in which I've used. And literally every Archer Hercules combo I use, they all turn out to be so good. I, I'm so in love with this Shozi layer. So that's it for this combo. I'm gonna keep it aside and then I'm mo I'm moving towards the next combo that I used yesterday out of my own pots. This is a, a very unpopular combo, one that I made. I don't really know how many people use it, but this is Orb Aegis 5 Cross Atomic. Now, as I said, Orb Aegis very unpopular and quite risky as well. Not many people have used it, not in WBO, not in IB. I don't remember at least. But this combo is actually uh, like I was having some hopes with it and it actually did very well even against the sparking base and i was pretty surprised and with this combo i actually even ended up bursting a takara tommy or bahamut now i know that who would use Arg bahamut in an elite grade tournament but still bursting an Arg bahamut with this was something else so why did i choose this combo um first of all the layer orb aegis this this guy this chosy layer is very very underrated i mean i don't know how many people know about this but its stamina, if not equal, is almost equal. It's very similar to Archer Hercules' stamina. And it sometimes even goes up against uh, Perfect Phoenix. That's how good the stamina is. And then it's pretty filled in as well. It's quite heavy. It's even heavier than Archer Hercules, I guess, because it has more metal. It, ha it has these two ball bearings to add some more weight. And it's quite filled in as well. The teeth are also very good. Uh, equal to Archer Hercules I guess and the only downside to this layer is the recoil over here so it can actually end up bursting but still the teeth are so good that it doesn't happen against a Chozy layer at least. I used it and it it did really well. It's a Chozy Bay and it was going up against GD and sparking like anything. For the disc and frame I went with a 5 cross. Why? I use the cross frame because it's a classic for stamina like uh, its shape is quite unusual for a stamina type but still it's, it's a really safe option for stamina. And that's all the reason I had for using cross. 5 disc, why 5 disc? When I had a 4 disc, which I cannot really find here anymore, wait a sec. Yeah, so I found it, the 4 disc. I could have gone with this as well because uh, this has really good defense and stamina. And 5 is also very good for defense and stamina, but I went with 5 because 5 has a lot of burst resistance. And I felt like a, a little extra burst resistance would come in handy because... Uh, after all, it is a recoily layer and therefore the hits can end up hard and after all I was going against GT and sparking stuff like those fairy rage longiness, world spring and lucifer the end type stuff. So it was pretty like scary and I was paranoid so that's why I used 5 disc and it was a good choice. And because I remember that this combo, uh, this even went up against a rage longiness but it got KO'd, no, not a big deal, it still didn't burst, that was like <laughs> enough <laughs> but it got KO'd. And it also went up against a Judgment, uh, I guess a Judgment Joker combo, Judgment Valkyrie, I don't know what it was, but it was a Judgment combo with the Joel Dash, I guess Parth was using it, and it even withstood its attack and outspun it in one route. So it, it did get KO'd, but still it didn't burst, so that's, because in this Mumbai tournament you're not gonna have any anything other than Chozy or below that, so there's, no, there's not gonna be any GD, no sparkings, and then Atomic. <laughs> this driver comes with tons of advantages, because... Classic. I mean, everyone uses this. Everyone loves this driver. Superb stamina, superb defense, just a little bit less burst resistance, but still it's fine because you can see the the clicks are so strong. So, yep, this this actually, I guess this was what help, was helping against right spin stamina combos. It did provide some LED against left spin as well. And overall, this combo did pretty well as well. Uh, in yesterday's event, I used uh, Archer Kiri 7 Eternal, yes, but for the finals, because I was in top 4, so uh, I uh, borrowed an Extend Plus driver from Yog Instinct and I used uh, an Archer Hercules 7 Cross Extend Plus. Uh, so that was also a really good combo. Not just yesterday's combos, there, there have been previous tournaments as well, and in that, I used another combo actually a god layer combo now that comment i was talking about he uh, the guy mentioned that he doesn't have many chosy bays and he he'll have to use a lot of god bays as well which i can completely understand because i was going through the same situation and i remember that in a tournament i used spriggan requiem zero bump bearing this is a classic oh my gosh who's calling me sorry guys it was my friend but i asked her to wait so she'll call me later anyways i was on this combo spriggan requiem zero bump bearing so this is a classic left spin even opposite spin LED combo that one can use 
and uh, this is a classic i mean this is this has been so popular in wbo tournaments back when god uh, god gen was going on and it was used even when the chozy came out because it was doing so well now. at that time i remember i didn't used to have a bearing so i uh, borrowed one from yogi instinct i i don't know if it was yogi instinct's bearing or it was a uh, adi austin's bearing i don't know but speaking like we and everyone knows um, it's a god layer bay and it's a chozy event so it's not really a very favorable choice but it's still very good because first of all it's very heavy very bulky and uh, dual spin so yep and then zero and bump classic combination for opposite spin defense and stamina and led as well and bearing you all know i don't really have to explain i mean that's how popular it is <laughs> now if you want to go with a combo like this then your best bet would be a hell salamander but because i do not have hell salamander so um i'm not showing that in the video and i haven't really used a hell salamander before as well so all i had was spriggan requiem and spriggan requiem does have a teeny tiny uh, advantage over hell salamander which is the dual spin if you have spriggan requiem you can always switch it to right spin i'm not really having anything to switch it right now but so i'm not showing but if if it's in right spin right spin bearing then you can counter left spin combos just as much as you can counter like any opposite spin combo so that's one uh, advantage with spriggan requiem if you happen to have a hell salamander then definitely use hell salamander but if you do not or if you feel that you need dual spin then spriggan requiem would do the job just just do not keep it in same spin otherwise there are high chances of it bursting uh, in this event i actually borrowed a hasbro's arc bulkash b3 from yog instinct so i was going to use a spriggan requiem zero bomb bearing and uh, i don't know how it would have went against those uh, uh, gd and sparking stuff rage longness would have destroyed it i know but he gave me a hasbro's bulkash b3 or bulkash b3 and uh, with an around and a hasbro bearing of course because hasbro's layers cannot be compatible with tt sports so a hasbro bearing also he had to give me and then he lent me an around disc as well i don't know which bay it comes with but here's the picture as you can see and uh, i used that combo and it was actually pretty good a god layer a hasbro version of org bahamut which is much stronger than tt version was actually doing pretty good against super king as well so that was really amazing so if you have a hasbro's org bulkash and a hasbro bearing then you should definitely use that in a chozy tournament because that thing is hella broken by broken i meant it's really good please don't consider it as if it's broken <laughs> I am reminded of another combo that I used way back like like 2 years 2 and a half years ago and that was Spriggan Requiem Zero Destroy and Glaive mostly in left spin or um mainly opposite spin so this was when Chozy was just new and only the the, the stuff like uh Archer Hercules, Hell Salamander, uh, Winning Valkyrie, Emperor Phoenix, Buster Excalibur, those things were out new. And I I remember Buster Excalibur was pretty new, RP Revive Phoenix was the most OP layer and stuff like that. And this this combo Spriggan Requiem Zero Glaive Destroy. It actually made me win the entire freaking tournament. I scored the first position using this combo. This God Layer Bay went up against so many Chozy Bays. It I remember it uh, outspinning uh us. I guess what was Adi Austin using in that tournament? It was another uh Spriggan Requiem Zero Bomb Bearing in left spin. So I was also in left spin so I was able to like knock it off balance and outspin it which was pretty amazing. So this is another combo with destroy but right now I won't really prefer destroy although destroy has an advantage which is that it can go in an aggressive pattern as well spriggan requiem isn't really good for attack but you can use it to push ko uh same spin base or iron wall like i'm sorry like a mobile defense type anti attack for opposite spin so you can do that as well but still i would prefer bearing over destroy so that's all with spriggan requiem that i've used in tournaments There's another Archer Hercules combo that I remember using which was Archer Hercules 7 with a bump frame let me just get that out of from the zero disc come on get out yep my frames tend to get stuck with the disc it ain't really a bad thing so it was Archer Hercules 7 bump and then atomic so this guy was like really good but in a chozy event 
it's it's going to give you a lot of advantage over other bladers so this bay this bay is really good it has some good uh, like uh, qualities against a left spin as well but it cannot really i'll be honest it cannot really outspin bearing and extend plus combos um but still let's not consider extend plus because we already have bearing uh, but in right spin, this guy can beat almost anything because the stamina is so high, the defense is so high, uh, is so high, and it like when it comes to opposite, uh, same spin stamina type, I guess it can defeat anything. Like you put up a dead phoenix against it, and it'll have a fair chance of outspinning dead phoenix when it's on atomic or to Hercules. And seven, as I said, very good disc and bump, giving that extra outward width distribution for some more stamina and centrifugal force. I remember using this combo at a tag team tournament and I was partnered up with, I guess, yeah, I was partnered up with Pratik. How can I forget, man? He's a really good friend and he was using a Hell Salamander is Zero Eternal. I do not have a Hell Salamander, but I have Zero Disc and Eternal Driver. Anyway, so he was using that and I was using this Archer Hercules. Um, seven Bump Atomic. This combo was doing really, very well. Like, taking hits from uh, things like Judgment Joker and that Slash Valkyrie, whatever was new that day. And it was like, it, it was really freaking amazing. At that time, I was also I was kind of surprised why is Archer Hercules doing so good against all these broken GD bays. These two Archer Hercules combos, Seven Eternal and Seven Bomb Atomic, are basically the two only Archer Hercules combos that I've ever used at tournaments. And uh, this was the first time that I used uh, this uh, uh, Orbigus combo as well. And then I used another combo. Man, why am I having to like? dismantle Archer Hercules again and again. Another combo that I'm reminded of, it was actually a stationary attack type and a very unpopular combo. And when I show you this, you'll be like, oh my gosh, Blader's EX is mad. We are not going to use this combo, but trust me, it's amazing. It was Winning Valkyrie 7 again, very versatile disc, and Orbit. A stationary attack type combo. Why did I use this? So, Winning Valkyrie is kind of unbalanced. I don't know if mine is unbalanced or generally Winning Valkyries are all unbalanced. But it's unbalanced, which gives it some kind of movement. And because it's so good for attack, and like it was really good, it was top tier in its own time when uh, Chozy was going on. So, it was really good as well. And then Orbit gives it some really good stability and stamina. And not really opposite spin LAD, but it gives it good stamina and. Uh, burst resistance as well because orbit has a really strong spring so what this guy was doing i was actually launching it really hard with a very controlled uh, angle and it was bursting other base so it was like a stationary burst attack type combo which uh, required a lot of skills but did very well as well i remember bursting some really unusual base with this <laughs> for example uh Addy Austin was using an Archer Hercules combo with Revolve which was doing really well throughout the tournament and it wasn't bursting a single time and then this guy I launched it really hard and it bursted Archer Hercules and Addy Austin again was also using uh, his uh, Hell Salamander Zero Bump Atomic that guy this right spin stationary attack type guy bursted a hell salamander. I will never forget that moment. That was like the last round, the last round of the final battle between me and Addy Austin. Addy Austin was like so experienced. It was his, his first tournament here as well, but he was very experienced with base. I was practically a newbie to tournaments and I defeated him in the final round with the burst finish to win the entire tournament and it was so amazing. Overall, not speaking much, this was also a really good combo that I used. Now coming to a really fairy god bay, another god gen bay. This is Nightmare Longinus Extreme. So, not just Extreme, I've used Nightmare Longinus many times and I've used it with Extreme Driver. I have used it with uh, the Variable Driver, which is, I guess, my favorite uh, driver with the uh, Nightmare Longinus. And I've also used it with the Iron Driver. And now many people are gonna call me stupid for using it with Iron Driver, but this was actually doing really well against left spin base. I defeated so many left spins. I, and I used it because I know that I'm good at controlling iron. That's why I used it. I could have gone with, with the hunter driver. Yes, hunter driver is also pretty good. I haven't really used it at tournaments yet. But I know that I'm pretty good with hunter driver as well. And especially when it comes to left spin. Talking about the frame, I have two options when I, whenever I need to. I don't really prefer using a frame with knife and long. And it's like not prefer, but still when I uh, feel like using a frame, then uh, I either use a flow frame. I've never really used a flow frame with knife and long before, but still I can use it because I just recently got it and I like the way these jaggedy edges of the flow frame 
correlate with these edges from the lower part of the layer. And if not flow, then my classic favorite is glaive. I had a glaive there, but still I opened this up. Man, screw me. Anyway, so glaive because this fin-like structure over here, please ignore my finger, that uh, wing uh, fin-like structure over there matches with this fin-like structure in the lower part of the layer. So synergies and is everything for me. I need the satisfaction while battling as well. So I've used a Nightmare Longinus a lot. I remember once going up against a Chosy Valkyrie, which was recently released during that time. It was pretty new. So it was pretty hard and. Uh, I guess I don't remember what driver it was against. I guess Yogin Sting was using Chosy Valkyrie with Destroy Dash or Destroy. I don't know. And I was using Nightmare Longinus variable and I got self KO'd. So I lost the battle. But still, Chosy Valkyrie was just one click away from bursting and the burst stopper had stopped it. Otherwise, it could have been KO'd. Other than that, I also remember using uh, Nightmare Longinus without any frame and the Extreme Driver without any frame against Addy Austin's. Uh, Hell Salamander Zero Bump Atomic in that tournament that I was talking about in which I won with this guy and uh, I didn't really defeat it but it was very close to bursting as well at that time I wasn't really that skilled so yep Hell Salamander is strong but Nightmare Longinus is also quite good so these are pretty much all the combos that I've used at tournaments till now all the Chosy combos and the God combos that I have um, battled against Chosy. Now uh, I'm jumping to some uh, other stuff that people I think people are gonna use and people can use some suggestions from my side as well. So some people might consider using Drain Fafnir against Chosy Bears and honestly I have no idea how good Drain Fafnir is against Chosy. So I cannot really say anything about that. So I will just suggest that test it out before going to the tournament. Test it out because you never know how it performs. Drain Fafnir is actually very unpredictable. So I don't really know much about Drain Fafnir. Org Bahamut, I guess you can use. It will be, it will work like a left spin, uh, Spriggan Requiem at max, or as a replacement for Hell Salamander. So it's still quite good for Chosy base. So yep, you can use Org Bahamut as well. Spriggan Requiem, obviously you can use. Um, other than Bearing, I don't know if X10 plus anyone would have or if it will be allowed or not. But uh, bearing also you can use with left spin base. Do not use bearing with a right spin because you can use definitely but I don't prefer because the spring is so loose that it just bursts. Some people like using Archer Hercules with bearing or even all Beagles with bearing if I imagine that. And it is quite like, yep, yeah, they do good. I, just I don't prefer them. So that's my call. And then some people even use uh, Nightmare Longinus with bearing. I don't really know how it does. <laughs> Anyways, um, and uh, if you like to use Revolve with uh, Archer Hercules or uh, with uh, Orbeegus or anything, you can use because it's a really good right spin driver. It'll work just like Atomic if not, uh, like, not really like Atomic, but it has its own perks. And then my camera isn't focusing. So, yep, that was all. Another combo that I would suggest is a Crash Ragnarok. I've never really used this, but still Crash Ragnarok with the 5. And uh, let's see, where's the bump frame? A bump, because that seems most necessary. Otherwise, you can use a, a glaive or a cross with that as well. Like, it's up to you. You can use anything you want. They both, ah, these bike wallas here, anyways. They both would work really well. And then, destroy. So, I know that this is a very risky combo. I've never really used it myself, although I could have. But still, if you have a destroyed dash, Trust me, if you ever destroy dash, you have to use this combo because it is really good with the dash driver. Crash Ragnarok is actually a really surprising attack type layer. And it's really good for stamina as well. So it'll do against pretty much, it, it'll do well against pretty much anything uh, against a Hell Salamander, against a Spring and Requiem, against a right spin defense type. Or if it's a right spin attack type, you can just uh, launch as hard as you can. So it'll just uh, ride through the Tornado Ridge and uh, push KO, I don't know what. Anyways, but um, Crash Ragnarok could destroy Dash. I don't have destroy Dash, in fact. And I have only one uh, Dash driver, which is Volcanic Dash. And I cannot really suggest that with anything, pretty much anything here. But if you have destroy Dash, you have to use it with Crash Ragnarok. So, folks, that was all for the video. I, I know that this video was kind of, um, I'd say, unorganized. And I'm sorry for that because I just planned it yesterday, like after coming home from the tournament. And here I am recording this. So, um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was uh, informative for you and it actually helps you out in the upcoming tournament in Mumbai. So, all the best for to all you guys. Do your best. 
and uh, just trust yourself that's what i say every time before going to a tournament if you do not have faith in yourself you do not do anything so that's me blazer x signing off thanks to everyone who watched the excel